Hey guys, welcome back. Here's our next installment in our knot tying series. Today I'm talking about my three favorite fishing knots. This is the first knot. We'll take our line through the eyelet, like so. Pass it behind the standing line. Make a loop. Pinch it. Go behind the standing line again. Make a second loop. And then we're gonna pass the running line up through both of those loops. And if it's tied correctly, when you open it up, it'll look like a figure eight. And then we'll just simply pull the running end to cinch the knot down, pull the standing end to cinch it down to your hook. This first knot is a kind of a cinch knot it's a type of cinch knot. Um, the first knot I learned in fishing, my grandfather taught me probably before I even learned how to tie my shoes. It's a very simple knot. Second knot is called the Palomar knot. And we'll start out by creating a bite, which simply means that we're going to double the line over on itself like so. We're going to pass the bite through the eyelet and if by chance your line is too large, the eyelet is too small and you can't double this up and push it through the eyelet, then you can, an alternate is to pass your running end through the eyelet, create your bite and pass the running end back through your eyelet. And then from there, we're going to create an overhand. We're going to we're going to pass the we're going to pass the bite behind both the standing and tag end. And come around and we're going to create an overhand like so. And then to finish the knot, we'll take, we'll take the bite, pass the hook through the bite, bring the bite all the way back up around. And then to tighten, we'll pull both. And then we are going to help this along because this line does not want to tighten down like a monofilament or a braided line would. And that is a polymer knot. And so this knot, you pretty much have to cut it loose. It's not designed to be untied, but it is one of the only knots that will not slip on braided line. I generally don't use it on uh, fluorocarbon line because it generates a lot of heat when you cinch it down. And this is also a knot that's, it's really important to wet it as, as you cinch it down and tighten it. And the last knot is the clinch knot. You pass the running end through the eyelet two times Leave yourself a little loop, pinch that off, and go around the standing line four to six times, depending on what diameter line you're using. The thinner the line, the more wraps. Pass the running end through both loops, and then cinch the knot down. Clinch knot is a fairly simple knot to tie. I like it because it doubles the line through the eyelet. And uh, I use this one a lot. But 
This one just simply will not hold on braided line. It does well on monofilament and it does okay on fluorocarbon line. But with uh, fluorocarbon, I generally do an improved clinch, which adds another step of bringing the running end through this crossbar, this cross locking bar right here, that locks it in that position underneath there. Please like, follow, share, subscribe, fuel the fires.